but it's no longer on the market. Local News 8's Genevieve Judge shows us how FenFen has lasting effects that weren't discovered to have bothered this woman until decades later. Dr. Jacob De La Rosa and Cindy Cartwright smile and laugh post-surgery at Portland Medical Center, but earlier this week, Cindy's heart was in danger. It's very uncommon to have to replace all the valves. Usually we can repair the valves, but her valves were so damaged, secondary to FenFen, that needed to be all replaced. Three of Cindy's four heart valves had to be replaced because of damage caused by FenFen. She took the anti-obesity medication for just six months after her last child 23 years ago. I've always tried to keep in shape and walk and, and stuff, but I noticed a little more than a year ago how I was slowing down and and had to catch my breath. These are x-rays of Cindy's heart before the surgery. The fen fen caused her heart to expand, almost reaching the chest walls. Inside, leaflets of her valves were supposed to be preventing the blood from going backwards. Instead, the valves weren't coming together at all. All the valve leaflets went backwards like that. And unbelievable to think that my valves had just wore out because I'm a healthy person, young person, you know, and so it was Hard to believe. This is Cindy's heart today, post-surgery, a night and a difference from before. Coming up on Sunday, we'll show you why Cindy started on the FenFen -Fen and what advice she has for others. In Pocatello, Genevieve Judge for KIFI Local News 8 HD.